Hey guys, welcome back to Code 4. In this video, we'll be seeing some questions on number conversions. Converting values from one number system to another. So stay till the end to understand. Before starting off, if you are new to this channel, this channel is all about IGCSE computer science. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon for instant notification. That being said, let's get started. Number systems. There are three types of number systems binary number system, denary number system, and hexadecimal number system. A binary number system has a base of 2, a denary number system has a base of 10. A hexadecimal number system has a base of 16. An example of binary number system would be 0010, 1001, 1010, all made of 1s and zeros. An example of denary number system would be 1387, that is, it can be of any whole number. Then, an example of hexadecimal number system would be 5B2. First, how to convert from binary to denary? The example that is being used here is 0010 1010. First, you have to create a table of powers of 2. After creating this, you have to place 1s on the appropriate places as given here. After creating a table like this, find the 1s in the binary value. Then look above the 1s. Then add those numbers together to get the denary value. Now let's see how to convert from denary to binary. The example I have chosen is 42. Create a table similar to the last one. Then leave the binary places blank. Find the numbers that would add up to give the denary number. Then place 1s wherever necessary. Then place zeros wherever 1s are not there. Now let's see how to convert from binary to hexadecimal. Creating a table like this will make this conversion much easier. First, write 8, 4, 2, and 1. Below the 8, write 8 zeros, then 8 ones. Below 4, write 4 zeros, 4 ones, 4 zeros, and 4 ones. Below 2, write 2 zeros, 2 ones, 2 zeros, 2 ones, etc. until the end. Below the 1, write 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1 alternatively. Then create another column for hexadecimal. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, till 9. Then below them A, B, C, D, E, F. Now using this you can solve it easily. For 4 it is 0, 1, 0, 0. For C it is 1, 1, 0, 0. For 5 it is 0, 1, 0, 1. Now let's see how to convert from hexadecimal to binary. It's the same. If you know the hexadecimal value, you can equate to the corresponding binary value and write them. That's all there is to it. Hexadecimal to binary. First, taking the rightmost number and multiplying it to the 16th power 0. Then, adding it to the product of the second number, that is b. When we see here, b corresponds to 11 in binary. So, multiplying 11 to 16 power 1. Then, taking the third number and multiplying it to the 16 power 2. As I said earlier, a corresponds to 10 and b corresponds to 11. That's why we have written 11 here and 10 here. Then, when we add all of them, we get the denary number, that is 2738. Now, let's see how to convert from denary to hexadecimal. The denary value is 7568, that is 7562. First, dividing it by 16 would give 472. The quotient will be divided again by 16 to give 29. Doing that until we have to do that until we get 0. Then the remainder would form the hexadecimal numbers. So creating a table like this would be very useful. The remainder 10 would correspond to A as shown here. 8 will be 8 and 13 will be D and 1 will be 1. We have to take them from reverse. So 1T8A will be the hexadecimal value. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the like button and also comment your doubts so that we can answer. And also, don't forget to subscribe and share our video.